G'day guys, my name's Dave and welcome to another Guitar Zero to Hero song tutorial. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to play Roller Coaster by Danny Vera, which is an amazing finger picking tune. Now, if you want to master your chords back to front, then be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. Or if you want to improve on your guitar, then sign up to Guitar Zero to Hero Premium, which is my complete step by step guitar course. For the basics of this song, you'll need your guitar in standard tuning and you'll need a capo on the second fret of your guitar. Alright, let's jump into the lesson. Okay, so let's start with our finger picking basics. Now your thumb will take care of the 6th, 5th and 4th strings and your index, middle and ring finger will take care of the 3rd, 2nd and 1st strings respectively. They shouldn't pluck any other strings other than the ones they've been assigned to. Now let's start with the intro. Now for the first bar, we're going to play a G chord. But we're going to play a G chord like this. It's actually going to be with our ring finger on the 3rd fret of the 6th and our pinky finger on the 3rd fret of the 2nd string. Now the reason why we're playing it this way is because we're going to need access to the 1st fret with our index finger later. So we're going to start by pinching the 6th and 2nd strings together. And then we'll go to the 4th string with our thumb. So that's at 8th notes. 1 and... Then we have a quick run of 3 notes which goes bass note. And then you're going to quickly put your index finger on the 1st fret of the 2nd string. And then 2nd string and 4th string. So this first section in total. And then for our next section, it's almost identical, except we're going to start with our index finger lifted and we're going to put it back down for that quick run. So, so the pattern is exactly the same. We're just starting with the open second string as opposed to the third fret of the second string. And in total for the first bar, The second bar we go back to our original G shape. We're going to do the pinch and then fourth string. So that's our picking pattern here. Then we're going to do the same thing with the sixth and first strings. So that first string needs to be open. Then for our next shape, it's index finger on the first for the second string. So we're going to pinch that and then fourth string and then the open second string. So that's all at eighth notes. So one and two and three and four and. Then we're going to go to an A minor here. Now we're going to play a picking pattern that's kind of similar to what we had in the first bar, but we're going to start by pinching the bass note, which is the fifth string and the second string here. But the second string is going to be open. So you're going to have your index finger up and as you pluck it, you're going to hammer on down and then fourth string. And then we have a quick run of three notes here. So the bass note and then lift your index finger, open second and fourth string like that. So the first section. And then for our second section here in this bar, we're going to just put our index finger down. The picking pattern is exactly the same, except we don't do the hammer on at the start. It's just simply index finger on the first fret. that bar in total. Then for our final bar, we're going to start with that hammer on pinch, fourth string with your pinky finger, third fret of the second string. We're going to do our pinch here. So fifth and second strings, fourth string. Then we're going to pitch the fifth and third strings together, but slide your ring finger up to the fourth string. And then we go back down to the second fret and open third string. So this final bar in total, one and two and three and four and, and a bit faster. And that's it for the first line of tab, which sounds like this. Now, 
the second line I tab for this intro is almost identical. There's just one variation and it's during the A minor. So in the second half, instead of just doing this regular pinch on the fifth and second strings, we're going to actually pinch the fifth and third strings here. Like that. So that's the only difference from the second line of tab to the first line of tab. So in total, the intro sounds like this all together. Now one thing people might pick up on is the fact that your thumb is constantly going from bass note to fourth string, bass note to fourth string, all on eighth notes. So it's constantly going one and two and three and four and with notes in between there. And for the A minor, one and two and three and four and. But as I said, there's notes that are played in between, but your thumb just consistently does that one and two and three and four and for the most part. And that's something that will typically happen throughout the rest of this song. That's just something I wanted to point out, but don't think about that too much when you're playing these picking patterns. Next, we get to the third line of the intro, which is really simple. So we're gonna start with this G chord shape. So we're gonna go bass note, fourth string, and then we have a quick run of three notes here, which is bass note, second, and fourth, so. Like that. For the second half, we're gonna start with the pinch, sixth and first strings, fourth string, and then a quick run of three notes, which is bass note, first fret of the second string, and fourth string, so that second half. Then we're going to lift out your next finger. For this next bar, start with the pinch on sixth and second strings fourth string, and then a quick run of three notes again, so bass, second, fourth. And then we end this with our pinky finger on the third fret of the first string. And we're gonna pinch the sixth and first, fourth string, and then quick run of three notes, bass, second, fourth. And in total for the third line of the intro, Next we move on to the verse. Now the verse, we're going to remain with this G position, so ring finger on the third fret of the sixth string. Now our picking pattern sort of remains similar here to what we've already done for a lot of the intro. So bass note, fourth string, and then a quick run of three notes. So bass, second, fourth. So that's our picking pattern here. So practice playing that again and again. so that your fingers kind of get the hang of it. Now you're gonna play that twice for the first bar. For the second bar, we're going to play it twice again, but at the very start, we're actually gonna pinch the second string with the bass note. So that only occurs on the second bar, but every other time you play that picking pattern, it's just the bass note by itself. So the first two bars. Next we go to an A minor and we're going to play the exact same picking pattern. So bass, fourth, and then quick run of three notes, which is bass, second, fourth. Now similar to what we did with the G, for that second bar, we're going to actually pinch the first bass note with another note. And this is gonna be the open first string, so. And then instead of playing one more picking pattern here at the end, we're just gonna go bass note, fourth string, bass note, and then second fret of the fifth string. And in total for the A minor. Next we go to a C chord and we're going to continue on with the same picking pattern. So twice here for this first bar, 
For the second bar, we're going to do a pinch and our pinch is going to have our pinky finger on the third fret of the first string. And then back to the normal picking pattern. So the C. And then we go back to our G shape. And you're gonna start with one normal picking pattern. And then this is where things get a little trickier. We're gonna introduce some more notes here. So pinky finger on the third fret of the sixth string. We're gonna start with a pinch. And then we have a five note run here, which goes fourth, third, bass, second string, but with your index finger on the first fret and back to fourth. So a quick run of five notes there. Like that. And a total for that bar. Then for the final bar, we're going to pinch the fifth and second strings with your index finger still on this first fret. After that first pinch, you're gonna pull off though that index finger. And then we have that same run of five notes. So fourth, third, bass, second, fourth. Like that. To end this, pinky finger goes back up to the third fret of the first string. We're gonna pinch the sixth and first and have that same run of five notes. So fourth, third, bass, second, fourth. So all together from that G, And that's it for the verse, which sounds like this. So after we play that verse through twice, we then get to the chorus. Now chorus is fairly simple. We're going to start with an E minor shape. Now play that with your index and middle finger. Now our picking pattern is going to go like this. We're going to start with a pinch. So in this case, it's the sixth and third strings. And then we have a run of five notes. So fourth, third, bass, second, fourth. So then we go to a D slash F sharp like this. We're going to do the exact same picking pattern, plucking the exact same strings. And then we go to our G and we're gonna pluck this for two of those picking patterns, except we're gonna start by pinching the sixth and second strings together as opposed to the sixth and third. So those first two bars. Now those two bars are repeated through three times, except for the third time we're only playing this G for one picking pattern, not two. After that, we go to an A minor for one picking pattern. So we're gonna pinch the fifth and second, and then do that run of five notes. So fourth, third, bass, second, fourth string. We're gonna stay on this A minor, do another picking pattern, but our pinch will be the fifth and first strings. And then we go to a C shape. We're going to do one picking pattern here with our first pinch, the fifth and second strings. And then we go to a D slash F sharp and we're gonna start by pinching the sixth and second strings. And then the regular five note run. So fourth, third, bass, second, fourth. So those last two bars.
And that's it for the chorus, which sounds like this in total. After that first chorus, we go back to a break. Now the break is just the second line of the intro, so nothing new to learn there. Now the rest of the song is essentially verse, chorus, verse, chorus. So we've already learned those parts. So, so you basically just need to keep in mind the structure of the song and what part is played where, the verse or the chorus. Next we get to the outro, which is quite simple because it's very similar to what we had in the verse, but we're starting from the A minor here. So the A minor sections that we played in the verse are identical, so. And when we get to our C shape, it's identical to what we had in the verse as well. And then to end this, we're going to go to our G shape, and this is where we're going to play something a little bit different. So it's the bass note and then a five note runs. So fourth, third, bass note, second, fourth. Then the next time we do it, we're gonna pinch the bass note and second string, but hammer on with your index finger. And you're actually gonna hammer on your middle finger to the second fret of the fourth string as well. And then our five note run, fourth, third, bass note, second, fourth. And then we go to our regular G and end our song like that. So the outro in total. So those are all the parts you need to learn for roller coaster. And it's quite a workout on your thumb, so just take it easy and of course just practice this really slowly. I would advise that you practice with a metronome as well just to help along with your timing. And if you're practicing along with a metronome, I think a good speed is about 65 BPM if you're just new to this. And that will sound like this. So that's at 65, but you can take it down to 60 or even 55 if you want to go even slower. But the main point is just don't rush it into full speed just yet. Practice it slow and then you'll build up that finger speed with time. So now I'll be doing a full playthrough of the song and I'll have a vocal track on top for some context. A big thanks to my friend Eric for lending his awesome vocals to this playthrough. Feel free to play this back as many times as you'd like to, to practice, play along to, and see how you go.
Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to head over to guitarzerohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. Or if you want to improve on your guitar, then sign up to Guitar Zero to Hero Premium, which is my complete step by step guitar course. It'd mean the world if you could hit that like button, hit subscribe, click the little notification bell as well so that you don't miss out on my updates. Please leave your thoughts, comments, questions, or requests down below, and I'll see you guys next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers.